Well, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Thanks for logging on to this quick forecast update. It's a little after 8 p.m. Eastern Time here. Hope you've had a happy uh, Memorial Day. Big changes coming into the forecast. Not a whole lot of rain today. We had some showers this morning, but nothing much otherwise than that. Now the rest of the week looking like a different story. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Our update today is sponsored by Welps Farm and Greenhouse. You can visit them on the web, welpsfarmandgreenhouse.com, located there in Birdseye, Indiana. Phone them at 812-326-2709 for all of your farm and gardening needs there. Welpsfarmandgreenhouse.com. Storm Prediction Center, as I said last night, has placed parts of the area underneath of a slight risk for severe weather on Tuesday. I questioned it yesterday. I'm still questioning it today, which I'll show you here why in just a second. They have uh, since uh, shifted that further over to the east. Of course, I think it's going to need to be shifted down a little bit more, and I'll talk about that. The why is here in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at satellite and radar here in the motion. You can see a bad night going on out to our west. Nice little, uh, very potent squall line uh, moving out, out through here. And if I if I just take uh, the satellite off, you can see that well-defined fact. The tornado warnings there in red. Uh, some confirmed tornadoes on the ground with damage earlier today. Lots of severe thunderstorm warnings there in yellow. Flash flood warnings there in green. So. Very bad night going on across there. The, that is going to reach us tomorrow, but it's not going to be that big of a deal for us. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Let me put the satellite back on here. Some clouds starting to thin out a little bit around the area today, but it's been pretty much a mostly cloudy day. We'll get a little bit of a break in the action, but it won't take long overnight before we start to see these clouds and, and rain move our way and, and blow into the area. In fact, let me just go ahead and sort of time this out for you. Let me just show you future radar here to start out rather than the future satellite and give you an idea of what we're expecting here. There's that rain move away today, and, and, and here that is. There's that. There's those showers and storms down there tonight. That will eventually start to, uh, well, you can see it pretty much just fizzles out, but that complex does move our way, and, and it will cause some storms. Tomorrow afternoon doesn't look like a huge uh, mess for us at this point, but you can see by by three, four o'clock in the afternoon, we've got some storms starting to fire in the area. How strong these are, uh, well, it's just, it, it's anybody's guess at this point. Um, I'm not looking for a major uh, organized severe weather event by any means for a couple of reasons. Let me show you a simulated satellite. Here's the cloudy weather that we've had all day long here. And uh, you can see we get maybe a little bit of a break in the action tonight with just a cloud starting to thin out overnight just a little bit but watch the clouds quickly move in from the west from all those uh, storms that are ongoing out to our west it starts to filter in and then of course tomorrow that uh, comes over us we might get a break in in the clouds here and there but uh, it's going to be partial sunshine it's not going to be a full day of sunshine and that's going to keep our atmosphere in check in fact uh, here's the way the high res nam shakes out the uh, our uh, energy and this is much different than what it was showing last night uh, last night when I, sh I showed you it, it was showing a lot more energy. Uh, as I said then, I, I felt like we'd have more clouds. This is a little overinflated, I think, too. This is showing, you know, uh, 2,000 to uh, maybe even closer to 3,000 uh, joules per kilogram of, of instability in the atmosphere. And frankly, I think that's kind of overdoing it compared to what we're going to see tomorrow. We're going to get warm tomorrow, no question about that. But I don't think that we're going to see this kind of extreme energy. The GFS is a lot more moderate with it what I, this is the high res nam and gfs is a lot more moderate keeps us maybe a oh, thousand or, or so to 1500 at most around the area and, and that seems like a more reasonable solution for this considering probably going to stay uh, cloudy a whole lot of the day tomorrow all right now the other thing we, we need to get organized severe weather we need to have decent amounts of, of uh, instability of the product that we use there is called cape that i showed you um, but we also need some wind energy to get uh, storms to fire. And what you can see as we take a look at wind energy in the uh, lower level of the atmosphere, this is looking at around the low level jet, uh, about 4,000 feet up or so. And you can see, well, a little bit of wind energy associated with this, but you're not looking at a strong low level jet by any means. In fact, you're only looking at maybe 20 to 30 knots at most around the area. Not a very strong one. The GFS is, is, is you know, it's, it's even a little bit less than that. So again, it's not a strong wind energy. And as you go higher up into the atmosphere, uh, you can actually see the wind energy gets less. So we get some uh, decent low level, uh, sort of okay, low level winds. But as you head up higher into the atmosphere, there's just not that much support for the winds going on. The better wind energy is off to our west. For that reason, I think organized severe weather is going to be hard to get tomorrow. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, uh, but what I am saying is it's a long shot tomorrow by any means, and I probably 
And what I think is going to happen is you're going to see this uh, slight risk area get shrunk down even further by tomorrow. And again, I, I told you yesterday here in the video that I thought a marginal risk would be what we needed to be under at best. They've, uh, they've already uh, did that for some of us, and I really think we all need to be taken out of the slight risk tomorrow, but that's my opinion at this point. Organized severe weather is just going to be a little bit hard to come by. Now, that's not saying we couldn't get a, a rogue thunderstorm or two that could briefly go severe, but I don't think we're going to get a squall line or major uh, supercells firing or anything like that. It just doesn't look like that kind of a day to me at this point, unless just something ra drastically changes, radically changes overnight. Um, it, but it's just is not looking likely at this point now as we head into the uh, coming days by the way just to quickly show you this uh, the GFS keeps rain chances in the forecast basically every day for as far as the eye can see even as you head into the weekend for the opening uh, of the bombers game here on the 30th scattered showers and thunderstorms around for that unfortunately uh, and and really it looks like that rain stays into the forecast and through at least part of next week so uh, you know, we got just a very active weather pattern coming up for us, uh, but it is not going to be a washout any of these days. It's just going to be popcorn stuff here and there. And some days we might not see any rain, but the chances will still be around. You might not get any rain. Ten miles away might. So it's just going to be one of those uh, sort of days. Temperatures tonight, muggy, muggy, muggy. We're looking at uh, probably mid to upper 60s around the area tonight for our temperatures. And then tomorrow afternoon we're going to... Well, by, by noon or so, we're going to be up to the mid-70s across the area. But, you know, I highly suspect that we'll go up to near 80 tomorrow afternoon for that. And then by the time uh, Wednesday night comes around, Wednesday morning, I should say, Tuesday night, we go down maybe to the mid to upper 60s across the area again for a low temperature, going up into the 80s pretty easily then again by Wednesday. So another muggy week shaping up for us. Here's the way your 10-day shakes out. Again, 66 for the low tonight, maybe 68. It's going to be high. It just depends around the area. Uh, we should start to thin out. We see those uh, clouds starting to thin out a little bit to our west. It won't be a completely clear sky all night long. we got plenty more moving in. Rain chances will continue as we get uh, as we get into the later overnight hours. And then tomorrow, a mostly cloudy day overall, I think. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, possibly some partial sunshine at times. A strong thunderstorm will be possible. Breezy tomorrow, uh, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. But again, organized severe weather is very questionable at this point. But keep it tuned here, and we'll have more updates for you. And then as we head down through the outlook, you can see 80s pretty much as far as the eye can see with rain and thunderstorm chances until we hit early next week by the time we hit Tuesday and Wednesday and those rain chances start to move out a little bit more. Well, the bottom line, folks, just keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana weather uh, throughout the day tomorrow for updates, but it doesn't look that bad yet at this point, but we'll keep you updated. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great night, folks, and we'll see you next time.